It can be said that all of us want ease in our lives. We don't want distress. We do not want heavy stress on a daily basis. We want to have ease. We want to have calm. Well, the word ease comes in part from the word release. It is a re-ease. A sense of ease is also contained within the practice of releasing and letting go of concern. Now think of the opposite. It's when we hold on to anxiety, when we hold on to worry, when we won't let go of it, when we absolutely will hold tight until it destroys our moment and uh, then our day. But as we let God's higher wisdom prevail, ease comes to us. An ease of accomplishment prevails. We find that it was easier than we thought it was going to be. God's presence supports us and God's power sustains us. We let go of all that personal strife and we allow ease to come into our lives. We focus on and we understand details and information that help us to work with ease and productivity. We allow helpful ideas to take hold in our thoughts. See, when we're holding on to anxiety and worry, we don't. We, we just, we repel it. We are so consumed with our own problems that we cannot allow the light of God to come in. When we allow the helpful ideas of God to take hold in our lives and in our mind and our heart, then we find that we're in ease. To ease the functioning of our body, we remain calm. And we remain calm by avoiding attitudes of stress, by avoiding attitudes of anxiety. We keep our thinking positive, wholesome, relaxed, and joyful. We think with ease as we work, we study, and we relax. We practice this. And as we practice this, it becomes us. When ease prevails in our thoughts, we create a pleasant and a, a productive environment everywhere we go. We let go and we let God take over, and we're at ease, for we know that God blesses us with abundance.